Hello my friend, I am Aniket and today we are discussing about GDSC that is Google Developer Student Clubs. The video which you saw at just the beginning was a glimpse of my last year works as a core team member in my GDSC VKBIT. It was this very month when my ex GDSC lead contacted me to be part of his core team and I was really obliged to be a part of the team because it really helped me to grow and enhance myself. And today I am the new GDSC lead of my college that is PKVIT. So today we will be discussing what is GDSC, what are the application procedures, what are the questions asked, how to make a video and the above proceedings. So these are the major five things that we will be discussing today. Okay. So let's start with what is GDSC. GDSC stands for Google Developer Student Clubs. It is an exclusive community by Google. You heard it right. It is a community by Google. And Google defines us as Google Developer Student Clubs are university based community groups for students interested in Google developer technologies. Students from all undergraduate or graduate programs with an interest in growing as a developer are welcome. By joining a DSC or GDSC, students grow their knowledge in a peer-to-peer -peer learning environment and build solutions for local business and their own community. So it is the definition by Google or GDSA community and in simple words, it's an exclusive community, especially for college students, for specific college. It is not needed that you need to be a BDIC students. You can be a, from any college. It's just that you should have and your core team should have the zeal to help or to grow your locality, your community with the help of tech provided by Google. Okay. So this is the major or basic definition about GDSC. Now let's talk about what is the application process is all about. So generally application opens in, I guess, uh, May, June time. Okay. This year it was open in April also. So I guess it was open from April and ended at some day on in May. Okay. So this is the application process time. You should have at least a year within your hand to apply. Like you should not be like this year graduating. Okay. So you should have at least a year in your college to be a part of this. Okay. You need to answer a few questions, few AC type questions given in that application form and you need to create a video. Okay. After that, some things happen. So let's see what were the questions this year that is for the cohort of 2021. Okay. So first question was, what is your motivation to run a Google developer student club at your university? Okay. So you, you should answer what were your motivation or what are your motivation to be a part of GDSC or to lead GDSC at your college. Okay. Next question was that what is your experience in leading a project or a team? So you need to showcase or answer this through your experiences or through your past experiences of leading a project or any kind of team. It can be anything. You don't need to be a pro in communities. Okay. Because many first year students too get selected as GDS lead. This year also many are from first year and it's really common. It's just that you should have the zeal they should see some spark within you. That's it. And you should be open with them. The third question is, what technology do you find most interesting and why? What is your experiences with this technology? So in this question, you need to mention your specific fields. As I told you, it is mainly based on technology and tech stuff. So what exactly are your expertise or your interest in technology. It can be any field. You don't need to be only some specific things. It can be anything. It depends upon your interest and you need to share experiences, any kind of project you had made, 
any kind of issues that you came in while creating those projects. So you need to showcase your technical skill, your technical experiences mainly in this question. Next, you need to record a video. So Google or GDSC describes it as record a 90 second video and show us why you are the right person to be a GDSC leader at your university. In the video, feel free to present yourself and mention what you think is relevant and what we should know about you. So you need to record at least a 90 second video. Okay. You need, uh, it will be better if you present yourself and uh, you be at your camera. Okay. Not just the slides one. And you don't need to be look like a really good person or something fancy. You can be as simple as you be in college. Okay. You know, you do not need to be look really handsome, well dressed and so on. Okay. Just a common simple video because they just want to see your skills or your capabilities introducing yourselves. They want to see how you present yourself and they want to check whether you are the right, cap right, most capable person for this position or not. So just open yourself in this video, share your views, share your past experiences, share your future things which you would like to do as a GDS leader and other stuff is just this that simple if you want you can create a short script but don't try to like just read it and spell it out be yourself you can write it understand the things what you want to say and then you can record a video you should upload it either on youtube or on google drive and just share it with them okay so after that if you get shortlisted from this application round you will get a mail from the team to be present or to schedule your interview. Yes, an interview should be taken. Okay. So some person will take your interview and in that interview, don't take stress. Uh, it is just that they want to know you. They want to confirm that the things which you wrote in that application are really true. They want to understand what your experiences were. What can you do as being a GDS leader? and why you want to be a GDS leader. They just want to see that whether you are the capable candidate for this position or not. And that's it. Nothing such kind of as uh, technical stuff. They will not ask DSA questions or anything like that is simple. They just want to understand you, how you are, what you are, what are your capabilities, what are your experiences, etc., etc. It is that simple. Okay. So these were the whole process. After that, if you get selected, you will get a mail from the GDSC team that congratulations, you are the GDSC lead for the current year for your university or college. Yeah, remember any person can apply. If you have a GDSC priority also, the GDSC lead that, uh, for example, if you are applying for the cohort of 2022, so if you have a GDSC at your college for the cohort of 2021, then you can approach to the GDSC leader because generally the GDSC leader gets some kind of special reference code for at least three or four people. So you can approach that lead. If he thinks that you are suitable or capable, he will surely give you that reference code. But remember, reference code are not a kind of signature mark that yes, you will get selected because I have personally seen Many those who got the reference code, uh, they were not even invited or were uh, qualified for the application round also. So they were not invited for the interview round. And many who do not have any kind of code, uh, they were invited for the interview and many got selected too. So it's simple. You don't need to worry. If you can, if like, if you can just arrange for it, it is better. If don't, then if you have the capabilities and skill, nobody can beat you, man. Okay. So I think this was the total thing. If you want to know more stuff, like what a GDSC do or anything else, you can contact me. It's basically, it is a tech community that wants to enhance the other students and want to make or grow our country basically. Okay. So that's it.
you can contact me at my handles the handles are given below and see you the next time signing off aniket kumar sena